So this is a very small problem. If you have given one Roman number and you have to convert into the integer, how you can do that? You might be knowing that. So suppose if you have the 15, right? So 15, how you will write actually? You write the 10 and this is 15, right? So suppose if you have to write the uh, uh, 20, so 20 is the x x, right? If you have to write the uh, uh, 25, so how you do that? You x x this one, and suppose if you have to write the uh, 23, how you write? So write the x x one. This is the three, right? And suppose you have to write the 40. How you add the 40? Because for the 40, we don't have anything. So we have the 50, take the 50 and then minus the x. So it becomes the 40, right? And you have to make the 60. How you will do the 60? 60 is the again L and this is the x, right? This is the um, 60. How you do make the integer to Roman? Now, if you have given this Roman and if you have to find out this integer, how we can do that? So, the simple thing is that one uh, very peculiar uh, design here. So, if you see here XL, here we minus the 10 from the L. But if you see the 60, we add the 10. So, what is that here? So, if you see in both case, the primary number is the L here also, here also. But in one case, I reduce the 10 and another case, we increase the 10. So, what is happening? The simple logic is that if you see that carefully, that if you take the XL here and you come from the right side. So, if you are this number, if this is the smaller than next number, then you have to subtract. So in this case, x is the less than the 50. So you have to reduce the x from the L and it become the 50 minus 10, 40. But take this example, Lx, if this number is greater than the next number, then what you have to do? You have to add. So in this case, x is the 10 and this L is more than the 10. So, 10 plus 50 is equal to 60. Just you have to apply the two logic and you will get the answer. Again, I am repeating that you have to come from the right side, check the right side number first and then the come the next number. If the next number means the left number side is greater than the value of the right side, then you have to add. If the left side is, the, is smaller than the right side, then the subtract. So, how you will do that? So, because we are going to always check this number, right? So, better make one map and make in Java, make one map and in this map, keep the two things. This is the character and integer and give something name is the map. So, what happen? You have to do the map dot put this is the character and this is the number, right? Map dot put, this is the character and this is the number. Same way, once you have the map, then what you have to do, if any number is given, you have to start from the last most number. So what you have to do, suppose this is given in the string format, right? Let me see if you could say here, if string s is equal to suppose xl or put anything suppose here c, c xl. So what you have to do, you take the first number first, last number. So this is the l. So what is the value of l? Go and check in the map. This is the 50. Keep the 50. 
then make the loop that will for the scanning the other numbers other remaining numbers so you have to go from where so if this is the 0 1 2 and the length is 3 right the string length is 3 index is 0 1 2 so you have to start from the 1 because I have already taken that this one so you have to start from n minus 2 because I have to start from here right so n is the length minus 2 it will start from the x till 0 this number is greater than 0 and then the i minus minus because we have to traverse from the right side to the left side okay and then take the the here in this case the first character so in this this is the x here you have to compare this value with the last one last one was the 50 right x value is the 10 and 10 you have to compare with the 50 if this is the less then you have to subtract if it is the greater then you have to add so this is the simple logic you have to do that that we can see in the code okay thank you so as you discuss first we take one map and that map should have the character and integer and give the map is a map and new has map right and you have to make all the entries that number entries here right all the symbol and the values so i have just copy pasted here so you can use that and now take the length of the string given right so this is then and you first take the right side value right most value as we discussed that so take the right most value how you can take that right most is the s dot character at where n minus 1 this is the right most right and pass this character in the map to get the value so map dot get so it will give you that value you keep it and and as i discuss that if suppose this is the number right if this is the number so you got the value for this v now you have to make the for loop from i to m right so we are going to from wrap right to the left so take one for loop i is equal to n minus 2 and then i should be greater than 0 and i minus minus because you are going from the right to left so you have to go in the uh, decrease mode and now take the value for the this one the second right most or the second last digit so how you will do that so take the any variables uh, last digit or something how you will get it again this is the s character at i right and you have to do the map dot get now what you have to do you have to comparison this number you are just now we face this i you have to comparison this number with that the immediate right right so you have to compare this number with this number means i plus 1 if that i is greater than i plus 1 means if this i is greater than i plus 1 then what you have to do you have to add if this is the small you have to subtract so no need to take any variable you can just directly do here if this number is greater or equal let me check this parenthesis is okay or not yeah so if this is the this number means the second digit is the greater than this one then you have to add so here you have to add we have already num so num add this number right and else if this number is smaller then you have to already check that we have to subtract so instead of the plus you have to do the minus so this is the code and at the end you have to return our num let me check whether it's working or not so just let me run it if any syntax error we can fix that 
walk this no syntax here you can see i gave the input uh, one uh, i i i and we got the three value right and change the i i i into that we were discussing right so we did the x l so l value you know this l value is 50 x is the 10 so i should suppose to get the 40 right run it so getting the 40 right and if and you can try for this number also this is the big number so we should suppose to get 1994 right so use the test case second and just run it i should suppose to get 1994 this is the first test cases we are trying to run the second test cases okay make the changes in the first test cases itself something is I was supposed to get 1994. So I'm getting the 1994. So this is the complete code and uh, it's very easy code. You can do the practice two, three times. You understand what is the what is the main thing. So only this is the, actually the two lines is the main logic here, right? Thank you very much.